Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new Breaking Point episode. Uh, I think we're at episode 6 today, and I'm not sure if it's the final one. We're at chapter 15. We are about to head to USA, with Williams continuing to put together an impressive run of form. The gap between 4th and 5th place in the Constructors' Championship is continuing to narrow. Interesting, interesting. Uh, the story is that. Oh, I thought someone died. Lol. Zoe! Daddy! Hey, Lilt. Mommy says you're in America where the cowboys live. Yeah, Daddy's in America. Are you racing with cowboys, Daddy? <laughs> yeah, one or two. Hey, who's your favorite racing driver, Lilt? You are! Just checking. Love you. Love you, Daddy. Hey, can I speak to Mum? Alright, so basically this email looked like stories dead and then it says a smiley. Actually, I'm gonna decline this one because we already heard that one last episode. <laughs> this email put me off so much. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's about the story that was like fighting and stuff. Um, let's claim my reward. And go to the race. Fellas! Sell out crowd this, ain't? Casper! I haven't seen you since you announced your retirement. No. Well, fair play to you, mate. Takes a brave man to admit he can't compete anymore. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I I'm, I'm just saying, you're a brave man. I'm paying you a compliment. Now uh, you're saying I can't compete? Nah, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant some have said that, uh... Well, you're past your prime, that's all. That won't work anymore, Devon. I'm sorry, <laughs> what won't work? We know what you've been saying about us. Oh, I genuinely don't know what you're talking about. You know, I used to think you were just a gossip, Devon. Now I know you're a liar. <laughs> Fight, oh, fight, 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 fight. You guys, you guys used to be so much more fun. We used to get into fights, take each other out of races. We all enjoyed that. Oh, yeah, you know, it was very entertaining. Now you just mope around, bickering over who said what. It's a bit petty, to be honest, guys. Seriously, you're supposed to be role models. Yeah, I won't argue with you, Devin. I won't win. Yeah, you do seem to struggle a bit with winning, to be fair. Yeah. And maybe you are right. Maybe I am past it. But he's not. And he's the better driver. <laughs> what, the rookie? He's only just got here. You do know the Mercedes seat is mine. The contract's as good as sign. There's just one problem with that, Demon. Huh? Enlighten me. I don't believe a word you say anymore. Tell him, mate. Uh, mate? I don't know who this is going to. <laughs> Chapter 15 with Butler's mind games no longer having any effect. Ackerman sets out to take the race directly to the man who caused the rift between the two teammates at Williams. Okay, Casper, you're doing great. Let's keep this up. Here's the Butler ahead. Butler? You're closing on him. No theatrics, please, Casper. Yeah, understood. Let's bin him off straight into Butler. Alright, up to P11, Ocon up next, and then Butler inside, that is pretty far away actually, oh my god, didn't miss say.
2.6 seconds to Ocon. Oh, Butler's in P8 actually. It only was in P9. Or maybe that only just switched around, but not sure. He just let Mazepin in a 14 lap race. Lol. Alright, now only 8 seconds. We already gained a lot to Butler. I think we gained around 3 seconds just on that last lap. Oh, I think they're just breaking boards for this corner. Surprised myself a little bit there. Stay behind Ocon for the DRS detection zone. Then get the switch back. And easy pass stroll into the pits. Coming out just ahead of us on new softs. Let's try to get around the outside. No, we can't. Switch back maybe. Yeah, we can. Up to P9. Butler up next. Five seconds and then Bottas in P7. Having an absolute nightmare. Another 3.8 second gain, 4 second gain at this point towards Butler. We did use a lot of ERS on that lap. Teammate into the pits. Aiden is in the pits. Aiden in the pits. Aiden is having a pretty good race then. I think he's boxing for soft rolling. You're closing in on Devon, Kaz. Let's put the pressure on. Oh yeah, we are. I think Aiden is gonna come out just ahead of us probably. E call it Butler. Leclerc just behind, oh, they were touching wheels. Alright, pass Leclerc with a new softs. It's probably gonna be pretty rapid. Absolutely done, Butler there in the bin. Give me DRS. No. Oh. Oh, Butler and the Claire fighting. Let's go, Charles. Easy claps. Taking a little bit of a weird line there to let us pass. Oh, eight in the fence. We've got a DRS, of course. Let's go for the fast lap. Both us nine seconds ahead, and Norris twelve seconds ahead. Bottas got past. Uh, Norwich. I think they're fighting. Yeah, they are. 
So we might have a chance for P5 here, actually. Only two laps to go, of course. Oh my god, this atmosphere is disgusting. Right, so we would have to gain over three seconds per lap to get P5 here. Not impossible, but looks pretty unlikely. Especially because the McLaren is pretty quick on this game. So I said, last lap we have to gain over three seconds to catch up to Norris, and we don't have enough at the moment. 2 seconds to Norris, which means we are going to have to gain over 2 seconds just in the last sector we want to get him. I don't think we have that pace. We got so close for P5, but we did not manage. But importantly, we finished ahead of both Austin Martins and Aiden did as well. So pretty good race for Williams. Right there. Closing in on P4 in the constructors. Crucial. So grazie ragazzi. Well, this season promises to end in quite the dramatic fashion. The tussle for the top continues, but in the midfield, Williams very much closing the gap on Aston Martin. Both teams have had a terrific season. Butler and Jackson rumoured to be in the running for that open Mercedes seat too. I can't wait to see how it all plays out. If you're anything like us, you won't want the season to end, but end it must. From here on in, every second of every lap counts. What a riveting season it's been. Mercedes are on top. That was an exciting oh, race from we go our again. Let's have yours. Yes, let's have Yet ours. another victory over rivals Aston Martin today, Casper. And more speculation over whether or not you can steal that fourth place. What do you have to say about that? We've had our eye on fourth place for a while. And we know we can do it, Claire. So, um... Yeah, gonna be an amazing fight. Now, let me go home, Claire. Your retirement grows ever closer, of course. Is that something you think about? We gotta beat Butler's ass up, Claire. You don't understand. If we don't, I don't retire, you know? Are you looking forward to your retirement? How will you spend it? Yes, can't wait to retire, so I'm done with your dumb interviews, Claire. <laughs> can't wait. Appreciate your time. Yeah, I don't appreciate yours, Claire. Post race, Ackerman managed to best butler at the United States Grand Prix, earning some much needed championship points for Williams as they continue to snap at the heels of the rivals at Austin Martin. <laughs> Hi, promote. I tried your phone earlier but couldn't reach you. 
Lily's gone into a hyper mode ever since you mentioned her on TV. Well, Aiden, Casper, hey, we're closing in on Aston Martin. Yeah, good race out there. I think we can do it, Casper. I think it's on. You know it's not going to be easy, right? Well, the fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Of course it does. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Just wanted to say congrats. Yeah, you too. See ya. Bye. Oh, I've got more re rewards. Next chapter. Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, chapter 16. It all comes down to this, the final race of the season. With a superb effort over the back half of the year, Williams have managed to find themselves within striking distance of Austin Martin, Devon Butler's team. Let's do this. Final race of, I think, breaking point on F1 2021. Brian is calling us. Brian. Casper! Cass! Cassie boy! Cassie boy? <laughs> a big day today. Huge. Yeah. Last race of your career. <laughs> How does it feel? Well, I don't know. I guess I feel... Oh, I'm so excited. Let me tell you. I'm like a kid at Christmas. I'm excited for my retirement. Oh, you're going to be great out there today. I can feel it in my bones. You're going to be terrific. Just remember what I taught you. Hmm. And what was that exactly? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I sure will miss you, Cass. Let's go out with a bang, eh? Not literally. <laughs> right. I'll leave you to it. Be brilliant. Be wonderful. Good luck. Thank you, Brian. I can't wait. Knowing they need to finish ahead of both Austin Martin drivers, Casper Ackerman makes a push up the pack as he sets his sights on Devon Butler and fourth place in the Constructors' Championship. Let's do this. Welcome to Abu Dhabi and we're just about to start today's race here at the Yas Marina circuit. This is a track known for its long, long back straight and it serves as a fantastic opportunity for overtaking going into the slow speed corners that follow it. The Yas Marina circuit, just over 3.4 miles long with 21 corners and two very long back straights. There are two DRS zones going into the heavy braking zones of both turn eight and turn 11 and offer plenty of potential for overtaking. The circuit comes with its fair share of tricky corners as well, in particular 15, 16 and 17, which will certainly test a driver's braking management. Williams could catch Aston Martin today, but it's a pretty tall order. And are you still surprised they are where they are? I am, to be honest, yeah. When you look back at how they finished last season, the fight they had in Canada, the antagonism on and off track, these two really weren't getting on. I think a lot of people, myself included, had written them off. Well, they've been nothing if not surprising, the Williams pair. Of course, neither driver may be with them next season. Yeah, it's Ackerman's last race today. I'll certainly be sorry to see him go. And they say Jackson and Mercedes are in talks, so who knows? Well, Mercedes continue to be cagey about that open seat for next season, claiming that no decision's been made yet, and they'll see how this season concludes first. Let's run you Ooh. through the driver grid so order. So it's whoever finishes ahead in the championship Lewis Hamilton gets the seat. Up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have... Verstappen, Perez, Pierre Gasly, and Fernando Alonso, Leclerc, Butler, Norris, and Carlos. Sainz. Where are we starting? Sonoda, oh, Ackerman, Aiden Jackson, not too shabby. And Stroll, Raikkonen, Ocon, Daniel Ricciardo, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Mazepin, and Mick Schumacher. All right, let's do this. Plenty of overtakes from this man, Ackerman, today, and here's another one to chalk off. This guy shouldn't be retiring from Formula One. And what's happening here? It looks like Stroll is retiring. And I'm not sure what the issue is, but there's a potential opportunity here for Williams, as it seems that Devon Butler's been left alone to see off the competition. And he's not having the best of days, Crofty. A few mistakes creeping in here and there, a few lockups. This race isn't over yet. <laughs> nope. Right, here we go. 
Let's beat these beat this new thing quicker than Butler now, Casper. Outstanding work. We've got a chance here. Roger. Let's make that push. We're all behind you. I'm on it. Butler and P6. Try to get gasoline the next right hand, otherwise we're stuck in the complete of the final sector. No, I can't. Too far back. Oh, what a scent. Fastest lap of the race, Norris, two seconds ahead. We're looking to get the rest here on the long back straight from Norris. Nice. Be able to send it from three times back. Not sure though. That's one. Actually, that's the second one. Let's get Ocon. Up to P8 we go. Sane's up next. Oh, a little bit of a loft up. Oh my god. Luckily we didn't get any damage, I think so. Stop him with a fast slap. See if we can improve that. 39.9 from Verstappen. We go and set a 37.2, 2.7 seconds faster than Verstappen. Now Butler up next. That's the one we have to finish ahead. Off. Well, they're not far ahead now, Cass. Keep on it. Small luck up. Butler goes defensive, we go around the outside. See if we can clear him before we start breaking into the chicane. Oh, there's a little bit of a bump there, I think so. Oh. So Williams potentially on track to really upset Aston Martin here, with Ackerman leading Butler and Jackson not too far behind. Butler's closing in on Ackerman. He's trying to win that place back, but which way is he gonna go? Down the inside he goes, <gasps> and they've hit each other! That's really aggressive from Devon Butler. He sends both cars spinning out. Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him. Too late on the brakes. I'm sure the stewards will be looking at this one after the race. But the Williams car still moving. The Dutchman looks to be continuing at. It's, it's great cool. to see him still in this fight, Crofty, but he has suffered significant damage. There are points still up for grabs today, though, don't forget. Well, that is significant, but can Kasper Ackerman's Williams car finish? You OK, Kasper? The data they sent suggests the car is compromised. That's fine. I can finish. Uh, oh. Butler's out, race. Butler's out. We have a shot. Jackson's closing fast, Kasper. OK. You need to go for third aid. Uh, Bobby. Third. What about Casper? What, we let Aiden pass? Let Aiden pass. Do the best you can, Casper. How's the car? Good enough. Will you give a message to Aiden? Oh, we're gonna go drive as Aiden again, I think so. Let's go. You need to pass Casper, Aiden. Copy. He's 
says you'd better get on that podium. P6. Uh, that would get the team fourth. Maybe, if Casper's car holds out. I guess we'd better get on that podium then. So we need that podium to get that fourth place in the constructors. Again, but this time with Aiden and not with Casper. So Leclerc, Perez, and then I think Bottas in P3. Those are the ones we have to overtake to get P4 in the constructors. So Leclerc is the first one we're gonna have to overtake, but he's on the hard, so I reckon he's gonna be the easiest one. On the inside here, up to P5. Perez and then Bottas up next. Casper still is the fast lap of the race. The fastest lap is a we can improve that again. Because in case Casper falls out of the point, we need that fastest lap. Because he's not going to get that extra point if he finishes outside of the top 10. Get Perez here. We might get DRS on the next trade to try and get him. Yeah, let's go. Overtake mode enabled. ERS and DRS. And it gets us up to P4. But we need. Another position. Another small lock up. Be fast lap of the race? No, it's not. On the inside of Bottas, and we're into P4 of the constructors. Now let's see if we can win this race. Eight seconds behind Verstappen and ten seconds behind Hamilton, with five laps to go. They're on old mediums. Their tires are six laps old. The time last lap was a one minute forty one point three. We're gaining by around four seconds per lap. Four seconds per lap. So we're definitely in for the win here. In case Casper drops down with too much damage, we can save our constructors by winning this race. Only gained. 2.2 seconds on that lap. But I did not use a lot of overtake and I had to overtake Bottas, of course. Oh, oh I had a board. Lol. Push that in ahead. Our gap to the car in front is 5.9 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tires are seven laps old. The time last lap was a 1.41.4. You're taking two and a half seconds out of them each lap. I'm confident we can get Verstappen, but Hamilton is not a piece of cake because he's still 8 seconds ahead. We're gonna be needing to gain a lot more than 2 seconds per lap. Just a little bit more than 2 seconds per lap to catch up to him as well and then pass him. Catching is one thing, passing is another. 2.8.5, solid lap, probably a 3 second gain. 
game to Verstappen on that lap. Staffing up first. One second ahead. Oh, Casper up to P5. Two laps to go, and we are 4.5 seconds behind a seven time world champion. See if Verstappen goes defensive here. Yes, he does. A little bit. But we get him into turn one. We're going to have to gain 2.3 seconds in just under two laps now. It's going to be quite a task. Hamilton's lap time was. Okay, gap ahead is 4.3 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tires are nine laps old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 40.5. You're taking 1.8 seconds out of them each lap. That's not enough. We need to gain a lot more than that. Oh, almost lost the rear. And traction there. Ooh. A bit too much sausage curb there. Final lap. We gained 2.8 seconds in that final lap if we want to win this race. As I said before, catching is one thing and then overtaking is another. Still got quite some battery to use though, so it might help. 1.9. We're heading towards the final sector after this straight. So we're running out of time. Most importantly, we are gonna get P4 in the constructors though. But of course we wanna win this race. And not just get P4 in the constructors. Gasper up to P4. Can we get Hamilton? Hamilton low on ERS as well. I think we're gonna come short. Bottas and Gasper fighting. As you can see in the top left. We're gonna come short. Of winning the race but we are gonna be P4 in the constructors ahead of Austin Martin which was the aim GG GG's boys 
Last race for Casper as well. He's going to come home in P4. I think so. This has been for Williams. Even a race or two ago, you wouldn't have believed it. But they finished fourth in the constructors. If the rumors are to be believed, they'll be reluctant now to let young Aiden Jackson go. What a talent he's proved to be. And an incredible end Hello, to an incredible career for Casper Ackerman, who somehow found his way back into the race after that nasty scrape with Butler. What a race here in Abu Dhabi. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Hey. Casper! We did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash yet? No. What happened? No, I'll let you see it for yourself. And Butler's okay? Who's Digo? Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I just came to congratulate you all. And bid you a fond farewell. It's been a pleasure. And I'll see you later. We'll celebrate. Uh, I'll stay for a bit. No, no, no. Oh, come on. What are they going to do? Discipline you? This isn't my victory, Casper. This is ours. Some race. Yeah, some race. You know, you had us all worried for a moment. Brian, when have I ever let you down? You really want me to answer that? It's not. Hey, it's been a pleasure. Now the pleasure has been mine, Brian. Heck of a career you've had, Cass. Casper! And I think you'll want it. Casper! Casper! For sake, man, get out there. You've earned it. Aiden's gonna get signed by Mercedes. In loving memory of Murray Walker. In loving memory of Max Mosley. I didn't say his last name correct, I think so. What a sorry mode this has been for F1 2021 breaking point. I hope you guys enjoyed all six episodes. Sorry, I think we're at episode seven actually. Anyway, I hope you I hope you guys enjoyed all episodes of Breaking Point on 2021. Um, I hope next year we're gonna have a story mode again. But for now, this is the end, and I'm gonna continue with making lots of other videos, of course, with. Um, more my team coming its way and the league racing videos and challenges against 110% AI. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys next video. Um, so, bye.